All right, so for this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I like to do my plants. We're gonna have a couple experiments going. In those darker pots, I'm going to add significantly more of the eco-complete type substrate. It's uh, this black high iron volcanic rock. So let's get started. Starting off with the clay pots. Then we add in some dried plant matter, just some of the trimmings from the other tanks that we have around here. This is recycling, plus it plugs up that hole at the bottom of all these pots. The dirt has been added. This is just regular topsoil. None of the fertilizers and stuff you get in like miracle Grow, things like that. Just regular dirt from outside or plain old topsoil. And now we have the Eco-Complete added to these pots. The high iron substrate. And we'll see how the plants react with that. The next thing is the layer of pea gravel that goes on top. This is important because it keeps all that dirt from floating up into the water column. And like I said, these ones over here have more eco-complete. These guys right here is just the dirt with the plant matter at the bottom with a pea gravel cap. So I'm going to plant a lobelia, a cardinal plant right here. And then these are going to have crypts. So I'm going to split it and we'll see how the growth goes. And here we have what I believe to be Cryptochorin lutea, but it was unidentified. The bottom plant is Lobelia cardinalis. Alright, all planted, ready to go into the tanks. Experiment ready. Over here, this was the extra pot as a different type of crypt going in a different spot. But next step, put them in the tanks. And here they are in a tank. This is the 20 gallon tall that the Krakadon Audax are currently occupying. I put the crypt to the back, the Lobelia is in the front, but at this point I don't really know what the growth is going to be like. The Lobelia is from a uh, tissue culture whereas that crypt was already growing submersed. I think the Krakadons are hiding for the most part. There's some of them. Checking it out with the female guppies that also occupy this space. Check back in on the growth. Awesome. 